Hey everybody. In today's video, I'm going to show you the most exciting coloring hack. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. I learned this on Susan's channel. I'll put a link below. And I'm so excited about it. It's a very unique to Ola markers and it's perfect for florals. So what I want you to do is note the way your dyes look when you cut them. This is the finish side and this is the back side. We're going to be utilizing the back side with the Olo markers for this fun technique that makes florals look sort of organic. So I flip this over to the back side and I'm coloring on it with a very dark maroon marker and when I flip it over you'll notice because of the free flow of ink that ink bleeds through to the front side. So now I will take a lighter marker and finish out the petals. This is so beautiful. She is such an incredible designer with botanicals. She knows a ton about plants and so she makes these all very realistic. But this little coloring hack is the bomb. So I'm going to speed this up and I'm going to flip these over. One of these I left on the front side so that you can see the difference of putting your dark marker down on the front side versus coloring through on the back side. And you're going to see such a huge difference in the way it works. So this is the die cut that I did using the front side of the die and see how there's like a hard stop there and on the other one it's very fuzzy and blended that is the difference so this really makes a huge difference look at that sharp stop versus fuzzy stop so great and it looks kind of natural the way that flowers are shaded naturally there's sort of like a bleeding out of color into the petals and it just looks so great. Oh my gosh, look at this. So when I turn them over to the front sides and show you, you can see the soft, soft nature of those blends. So I'll do the same thing on the foliage and I will just add some shading. This is where I really love this technique is on leaves because it really is so irregular and natural. It looks very organic and I love it. So when I flip that over, you'll see it's sort of partially shaded and I can add this lighter bright green, which on white cardstock would be very, very bright, but it's so pretty and sort of olive colored on the neutral background of craft. But look at how natural and artistic that looks. This is such an easy way to color. Oh my gosh, such an easy way to color. Now it is really important that you clean your glass mat in between switching different colors because they can pick up that ink. The free flowing ink of the Ola markers is the magic of this technique. So you won't be able to achieve this look without this free flowing ink, in my opinion. So now I'm going to do a little pansy. And so I color on the back and look on the front, how it's like bled out so perfectly and softly that when I go to put the yellow on top of it, it looks so natural and just like a pansy would look. I love it so much. Even with purple and yellow, you know if you've watched my videos that I debunk the fact that you cannot use complementary colors together. You absolutely can, and this pansy coloring is a great example of that. Now for the leaves, you can do whatever you like. I'm trying to leave a lighter vein in the center and then add some darker marks for veins off to the side on the larger leaves. On the smaller leaves, I'll just color a sort of deeper well of color in the center of the leaf. 
And then when I add the light green, you can see how that dark green kind of pops in there, but not in an unnatural sharp way. It's just soft and blended and just such a great hack. It's such a great hack. I love it so much. Thank you, Susan. So now for the rest of the pansy, I will again go in with this dark, dark violet for the next piece. And you can see the soft appearance once I flip it over and then I will add the yellow. Oh, so beautiful. It looks just like a real pansy. It's amazing. And on these two pieces, I will come in and color on the back with a dark violet again. But for the rest of the pansy, I will be using a lighter violet to finish that off. But you get the same effect. And you're going to see why it's really important to clean your glass mat <laughs> in the next step. Because after I put this down, I actually pick up a little streak of that darker violet that was wet on my mat. But it's no big deal. Again, these markers are so inky. You can just blend that out and it'll be fine. So I'll flip this over to the right side again, blend out the lighter violet, and then you have a complete pansy. If you don't have enough ink, feel free to go back and add some more on the back side. Definitely bleeds through and you'll get exactly the look that you're looking for. Isn't that gorgeous? So pretty. So here's the finished project with this gorgeous Carolina Allspice and this 3D embossing folder. So I encourage you, no matter what the color of your cardstock, to try this soon. It's such an easy way to color botanicals. Thanks so much for watching.